Hello everybody! Welcome to a video on plot setting and characterization. This video is going to go over four terms uh, and other terms that are related to them. Uh, the terms that it will go over are genre, plot, setting, and characterization. The first term I'm going to talk about is genre. A genre is a type of creative work that follows recognizable rules. These rules are sometimes called conventions. There are three main genres of literature, poetry, drama, and fiction. This class, which is called The Nature of Fiction, focuses on the genre of fiction. This means that the works we read, which are going to be mostly short stories and novels, will follow conventions or rules that we associate with works of fiction. However, some of these works may also experiment with some of these conventions or rules. The next term I'm going to talk about is plot. As you probably already know, plot refers to the sequence of events that happen in a story or a novel. The plot of many, although not all, stories and novels follows a pattern that looks something like this. It begins with an exposition, which establishes the setting and the characters and introduces the primary conflict. This conflict can be a conflict uh, that's between characters, or it can be a conflict that's within a character as well. So it doesn't necessarily need to be something uh, that's action packed. The next part of its sort of typical plot is the rising action. Uh, during this part of a story or a novel, the primary conflict intensifies and the narrative tension within the work builds. The next part of most typical plots is the climax. So this is the highest level of tension. And then after that comes the following action in which the pr primary conflict is resolved and the narrative tension dissipates. And then finally there's a resolution where the story or the novel um, concludes. As I said, however, not every story or novel necessarily follows the sequence. Uh, this is a common pattern, uh, but uh, some stories and some novels don't necessarily follow this pattern. The next term I'm going to talk about is setting. Uh, as you probably know, a setting is the time and place in which a story or a novel takes place. Uh, to provide the example of Harry Potter, uh, most of the Harry Potter novels are set at the imaginary school of Hogwarts. So that's a place that they're set. However, a setting can also refer to the larger uh, environment of the story or novel, um, such as its political, cultural, or legal backdrop. So uh, it cannot necessarily just refer to the sort of immediate surroundings or the immediate time, but it can also refer to sort of larger events um, that take place in sort of the background of the story. And to go back to my Harry Potter example, um, some of the novels are set in the midst of a sort of complicated political struggle uh, that happens between those who support Voldemort and those who oppose him. So that's again sort of a, an, a fictional example of a larger uh, environment um, that might form the backdrop of a story and that could also be considered um, part of that story or that novel's setting. And then finally, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about characterization. So characterization is the process of delivering information about a character, including the character's personality to a reader. And there's a couple different ways that a writer might do this. Direct characterization happens when the narrator or another character explains an aspect of a character. So to go back to the example of Harry Potter, uh, a character in one of the novels might tell Harry that Draco Malfoy is a jerk. And because that character is saying it out loud, we as a reader also have that information. So that would be an example of direct characterization. Indirect characterization happens when a character reveals something about him or herself through their words or actions. So for example, Draco Malfoy might bully a younger kid, and in doing so, he sort of indirectly reveals himself to be a jerk. So that is an example of indirect characterization as opposed to direct characterization. That's the end of this presentation. Uh, if you have any questions about these terms, uh, please let me know. You can either email me or you can post to the Ask My Instructor discussion board on Blackboard.